Okay, so let's use the sim to investigate this question a little bit further. And when we are using the sim today, we're gonna zoom inside um, of a particular part of the cells, um, just as we did when we were investigating photosynthesis inside the cells of producers, we zoomed in on a specific part of the cell called a chloroplast. Today, we're gonna zoom in on a specific part of the cell called a mitochondrion. Okay, mitochondrion with an N at the end is singular. Mitochondria with an A at the end is plural. So when you're in the sim today, you're gonna think about these um, four questions here around what you are observing. So what molecules are entering this mitochondrion? What molecules are exiting the mitochondrion? What do you think this then means about the function of this mitochondria? Like what does it do based on what's going inside and out of it? And then what does this model or what does the SIM model show about how organisms give off carbon dioxide? So if you have access to the SIM in Amplify Online, go ahead and pause the video, get to your SIM, explore, and answer these questions. Otherwise, you can follow along with me. So I'm gonna move over to my Amplify uh, tab here, and I'm gonna access the SIM with the shortcut. So remember, if I go to the little um, three line stack menu here, I can get to my SIMs much faster. And we're looking again at the matter and energy and ecosystem SIM. And since this one takes me a minute to load, I already have it um, up and ready. And I'm not gonna manipulate anything here. I'm just gonna hit play. Um, Cause again, I'm not testing anything. I'm just observing. Uh, processes happening within the cell. And my directions again stated that I want to um, look at what's happening inside of the cell. So in my sim, I'm gonna click on view cell. And again, my directions were specifically asking for me to observe what's happening in the mitochondrion. We had already looked at the chloroplast previously when we were investigating how photosynthesis uh, produces energy storage molecules. Right now we're considering how cellular respiration produces carbon dioxide. And I'm gonna focus on the mitochondrion part to do that. So remember I should be observing right now things going in and things going out of this particular mitochondrion what that might mean about this part of the cell's function or job. And then what this overall model, again, is showing about how organisms give off carbon dioxide. Do remember we have our key up here for what those little tiny color and shape particles look like. So I've spent some time observing this mitochondrion here in a producer cell. I'm gonna check it out in some of the other cells of the other um, living things within the other biotic things within our ecosystem. As last lesson, we figured out that all of these things give off carbon dioxide. So I need to check all of them out right now in this investigation. So let's go to our consumers. These are those things within the ecosystem that need to eat other things like producers to get their energy storage molecules. Okay, and there's a mitochondrion again, watching things go in. Got those little blue, light blue circles for oxygen going in. Oh, I'm also seeing that orange one with the black dots, that energy storage molecule going in. And coming out right there, I just saw those um, trapezoid, I think that's what that's called, um, shape, that's blue, that's water. And I just saw some, I think, carbon dioxide, those little tri or those little diamonds coming out. So let's double check. Oh, yep, there's some. Okay. So let's check that out in the secondary consumer. A secondary consumer is a consumer that consumes consumers. So if I look here, it's things like snakes, um, spiders, snakes eat small mammals like a, a mouse and a spider can eat other bugs. Um, so it's things that eat consumers. So they're not vegetarians. 
Okay, there's my mitochondrion again. I'm watching what goes in. Oh, again, I'm seeing some oxygen, some energy storage molecules coming out. I saw some carbon dioxide and some water. And let's check that on our decomposers again, those things that feed off of dead and dying matter. And again, I'm seeing some water going in, energy storage molecule going in, or I'm sorry, oxygen going in, energy storage molecule going in, and water and carbon dioxide coming out. All right, so if I go back and I consider what I was to be observing here. I noticed what's entering the mitochondrion is oxygen and energy storage molecules. And that was true for all of the mitochondrion that we looked at within all of the different types of biotic um, components of our ecosystem. And what's exiting again for all of those was water and carbon dioxide. And so what do you think this means about the function of mitochondrion? Well, to me, that means if I'm trying to investigate how organisms give off carbon dioxide, and I just observed a mitochondrion giving off carbon dioxide, that to me means that the function or the job of this part of the cell has something to do with giving off of carbon dioxide. That chemical reaction that would create or rearrange uh, molecules to make carbon dioxide, okay? And that connects exactly to what we were just uh, viewing in this image earlier in our warm-up thinking today. Well, I just saw within the sim this mitochondrion, which is shown right here in our image, take in energy storage molecules, take in oxygen, and release from that carbon dioxide and water. And so we were just observing in the sim this process of cellular respiration. And so cellular respiration is the chemical reaction between oxygen and glucose that releases energy into cells. At this time, please pause the video and add this vocabulary term, cellular respiration, to your paper underneath our key concept and our other vocabulary term of decomposer from earlier in today's lesson.